Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Today, we are discussing a landmark watch for Rolex, the first ever green series production Rolex Submariner. This is the Submariner Date 16610 LV Lunette Vert. The timepiece was launched in 2003 to mark 50 years of Rolex's most famous watch, and it inaugurated the ongoing tradition of having a green accented Submariner in the collection on a full-time basis. So the watch is a five-digit 40 millimeter case, and of course this watch made of 904L steel. The thickness of the watch is 12.7 millimeters. From lug tip to lug tip it's 47.2 millimeters, but if you add the solid end links of the 93250 bracelet, the total distance across the wrist is 50.5 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. You can see that this is a little bit of a transitional type of bracelet as we're into the era of 904L steel and solid end links, but we still have the hollow center links and we still have a stamped clasp. So you can see the definition on the clasp is outstanding. Ending. This watch minimally, if ever, refinished, and professionally so, if executed thusly. Taking a quick look at the bracelet, you can see it's all in satin. It has a little bit of a diminishing width down from the end link, which is fully integrated. And you can see that this bracelet is also in fantastic shape internally. You can see that this is the reference 93250. And you can see that it's junction with the case back on both sides. No tortured signs of ill-fit strap or bracelet tools. Everything is absolutely immaculate. Internally, you can see that you have some additional length that can be liberated by using your strap tool. You can pull a couple of extra links out to extend over a dive suit. Taking a quick look in profile, you have quite a few different divots. One set of divots used to anchor the unneeded links, the other divot used to anchor the bracelet in an absolute sense for fit retention. Taking a quick look, you can see it is a clamshell lock and the tolerances remain excellent. The watch has very little roll bracelet stretch and you can see that from this angle they always had a little bit of play because of the hollow end uh, center links I should say uh, but this one has very little indeed and it's one of the most intact examples I've seen taking a quick look at the case polished flank satin finished tops we have a crown guard profile with a trip lock crown 300 meters water resistant screw down needless to say solid oyster style case back the bezel is 120 click and has a wonderful glide, a combination of satin finish and polish outboard with a sharp knurling that grips easily even if your hands are wet, sweaty, or gloved. Line up the luminescent pearl, which luxuriously is sapphire capped. Now you have a impromptu zero to 60 minute count up timer. It's a very easy watch to read during a dive. And it does have a loomed seconds hand, which should be universal on dive watches, but for some reason isn't. Bezel feel is second to none. The insert is anodized aluminum and in outstanding condition. Now there are changes through the course of this watch's production involving things like the bezel and the dial details, and I'll let you catalog those. What you should know is that this is an M serial number, so roughly 2008, just to chart the changes and the years. White gold hands, white gold indices, and it's important to recognize that this watch is not just defined by its bezel. Yes, it has a green bezel, but attempts to counterfeit these watches often overlook the fact that the watch has a unique dial that adopted the larger indices from the 1990s Yacht Master. Before this became universal on the subs with the triple digit references, it was first pioneered on the LV, the Lunette Vert. So you have a green crystal, yes, but also larger indices with more luminescence. They and the hands are white gold to resist oxidation and tarnish over time. The dial base is a lovely black lacquer. You can see that we have a couple of subsidiary setting modes, including a hacking seconds function. There is a jump date, and that jump date features a quick set mechanism and a wonderfully serify font. Underneath the case back, Rolex manufactured caliber 3135, bi-directional automatic winding, 48 hour power reserve, eight beats per second, 31 pivot joules, a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. It has a full balance bridge and a free sprung balance for both precise adjustment and shock tolerance. And it has a handmade overcoil hairspring that gives the watch the ability to keep excellent, consistent time in any position because the mass of an overcoil is much more centered than a flat hairspring. So having more centered mass, its mass is more symmetrically distributed around the watch, which makes for better timekeeping in all positions. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchasing pricing details.